My artistic style is probably no style. It's very much a practice that references painting. It's probably more just a concept that uses painting as a vehicle to present ideas and to investigate histories, memories. Growing up with a, a mom who's a painter and a dad who's a stone carver kind of always presented the tools and also the idea that art is just something you're going to do. It's not an if or how, but you'll, you'll make it work with whatever means you can. My work evolved a lot over the years. I started out as an expressionist muralist um, in LA, very much informed by the history of the Mexican muralists, very political, very literal. And then it evolved a lot when I had a teacher who, in LA who connected me to the history of contemporary German painting that dealt with a lot of post-pop, post-digital processes. And I think everything kind of took off from there. I started to incorporate technology into my work in sort of a, a reverse manner um, in the sense that early, early on, uh, my brother and I were always uh, messing around with a subculture called emulation in which you run video game systems on different hardware. So you might have a Nintendo running on some old busted uh, computer and over time somehow or another I started to think of the idea of what if you had a machine that could emulate painting? So things just evolved uh, very slowly and also the idea of wanting to have the means of production of an artist compete with a market demand. If I were to describe how one of my artworks is created, um, it can be brutally long in that, for example, something like the John F. Kennedy piece took several years to create and sometimes, um, like in the words of Michelle Majerus, the first encounter is the best one. So I had seen this image, for example, in a magazine in LA, uh, right off of Pacific Coast Highway. And I knew I wanted to make something with it, but I just didn't know how. So years, conversations, many attempts, uh, many evolutions in the technique and the processes uh, have what you see here, which is uh, Heaven's Gate 2. So essentially, it's kind of organic. There might be some sort of idea or concept that's gonna drive it for all those years and a very intuitive, simultaneous, kind of fluid back and forth. And then at the end, it usually just kind of feels right. I approached color in painting in kind of a weird way because in some ways that like a electric guitar was trying to sound like a saxophone, I'm usually mixing palettes based off of uh, old photographs and essentially trying to find a nexus between two completely opposite things where you have photographic light, which is additive, and then you have the time staking old oil painting color theory, which is subtractive. So they never really quite add up, but wherever those two things meet, um, I call it a day. and start painting from there. I want the viewer to walk away uh, with the feeling of suspension. Um, I want these works, which I don't know if I would call them paintings, but I want these images to kind of suspend you from the nonstop flow of text that we encounter. Rules, appointments, regulations, ideas, I want you to see an image and have it uh, captivate you.